you are like the eighth longest tenured Celtic now. Wow. wow. <laughs> in three months. Yeah. That's insane. All yeah, right. There, there were seven, seven guys from, from last year and now you. Uh, how crazy is that, though? Like, so you get come in in June and now another big trade. Like, how do you feel about where the Celtics are heading into the season? I think I could speak for myself and everybody in and around the organization. No, I think everybody's excited. Uh, I think just seeing that the level of talent that has been brought in, it's uh, it just gives I think extra motivation and extra fire for everybody to get to work this season, and of course the expectations are high and and the pressure will be high, but that's what we're here for. You know we're here for this challenge and and we expect uh, we expect great things from ourselves. Take me through it. yesterday when the Giroud deal goes down. What do you know about him from being across from him in the NBA, and how can he help you guys? I'm very happy he's on my team. Uh, he was one of, he might be the only guy, the only like one-two man that was, that wasn't a mismatch. When you like get the switch with him, he's such a strong one-on-one -on -one defender that um, I have to admit I'm very happy that he's on my team now. Um, and and yeah, and we're excited. Obviously, he's offensive talent. It's you know it's it's there, but I think what everybody just loves about that guy, how much of a dog he is on the defensive end, and and that's going to be very big for us. I mean, I know you said you were excited when you first got traded here and joined in the core of this team, but to add another player of that stature, and you mentioned the expectations. Like, well, how do you approach the season? Like, is it is it hard not to think that it's a championship or bust mentality for for a team like this? Uh, we had a good meeting this morning, and and I think uh, coach said the right words. You know, for us, it's uh, we cannot be like daily thinking about what we want to achieve. We have to go day by day, just living, living that kind of lifestyle, living that life, and 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 putting in that work that needs to be done to get there. And that's that has to be our focus. You know, and and if we take it day by day, game by game. Um, Eventually, we believe we'll get there. Is that easy for you to do? Can you avoid looking at the? Because it's it's so easy to think of like they've been mm -hmm. tantalizingly close. You guys have added so much talent. Can you mm. could, can you do that process day by day? Uh, for myself, I think I am getting to an age where I'm much more like this, mm -hmm. not like this when I was younger or any young player. Um, so I think I will be capable of doing that. And I think I think most of the guys are you know are experienced enough. Um, to just come in, win, lose, or draw, we'll come in and do the same work the next day. And and you have to like embrace the 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 same day over and over again almost, you know, and and, and I think we have the mental toughness to do that. What have you learned about guys like Jason and Jalen since you've been here and just getting to work out with them in the last couple of weeks? Uh, the obvious, no, the extremely talented players. Um, I think what stands out to me the most is uh, like how, like how like selfless they actually are. You know, uh, I could tell from just the pickup games and just talking to them a little bit. Uh, their only goal is to win. You know, they just want to win. And and I mean, it's it's no. It, these guys, these are guys are honestly incredible. That's why they're here in this organization, and 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 they're gonna be here for a long time. And. And I'm I'm just glad to be to be their teammate now. I think I see, saw you mention earlier uh, the possibility that you know you you could end up anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Like there were other teams that were in the mix. Like, do you ever th stop and think like how differently things could have played out, and how appreciative are you that mm -hmm. you have this chance? Yeah, actually, I, I talked to my brother a couple of days ago, and uh, I was just telling him I'm like, man, I'm so happy I made this decision. You know, this is this is exactly what I wanted, and and we were just kind of. He said he had goosebumps as we were talking, and like, it feels it feels right. It feels like, uh, uh, like, at this point in my career, this is what I really, really wanted to be able to try to win it all. And uh, and especially wearing these colors and, and and this organization, you know, which is as I keep saying, it's like, if not the most iconic, then top two of most iconic or, uh, franchises there is. And I'm playing for it, you know. For this team, so it's 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 absolutely incredible and incredible um, uh, opportunity for me, and and I'm just grateful for it all.
tell me about the FIBA experience. How tough was it for you to sit out, especially with how good your country did? Mm -hmm. And just what was that whole experience like? I'm not gonna lie, it was very tough. Mm -hmm. The day I made the decision that I will not play, not me, but you know, as a group, we made the decision. And I had to tell the coach that I was not going to be able to play it. Man, it was very tough. You, one of the toughest things I've done recently, you know, because of how much I love playing for my country and how big of a deal it was for us. But understanding that I have to look at the, at the, at the big picture and I have a, a very important season ahead of me. And, and even though it was the, a very hard decision, I know it was the right one. And, and yeah, we, we move forward. I have a great uh, opportunity now uh, with us, with the Celtics, and hopefully next season with, with our national team. Once you get to the quarterfinals, I was like, uh-oh, he's going to rip off that, that that shirt and get in there. The, if the FIBA didn't have those kind of rules. <laughs> oh, wait, you, oh, so yeah. you were, once you were out, you were out. Yeah, I was okay. out, yeah. But uh, you it definitely broken. crossed my mind more than one time. Uh, what, what excites you most about the upcoming season? I think uh honestly I think playing in the in the garden I think that's going to be incredible I've kind of missed that um that kind of atmosphere you know in, in regular season games and uh I just know how it is playing here as a, a as a visitor and uh and it's a tough place to play and so I'm I'm looking forward to being at home here how have you started working with Al in, you know, wh when you guys share the court, when you go double mm -hmm. big, like defining roles, defining defense, and, yeah. and working through that? Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty easy with me and Al. Uh, Al is one of the best shooters in the league. He shot, like, I looked it up, it was 44% just mm -hmm. last season. It was incredible numbers. So, so yeah, he's going to be just making life easier for everybody with his shooting ability. And, and defensively, I think um, Al can do so many things. And, and, you know, we've kind of already figured out ways and we will figure out matchups which are better for me to be able to be closer to the rim so I can protect the rim for, for, for us. And, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's going to be pretty easy to, to find that rhythm with Al. How eager are you to show what – I think people that watch the league a lot know how good you can be defensively, especially mm -hmm. what, what, how much you've grown in that position. Mm -hmm. like how eager are you to, to sort of showcase that on a team that has other, you know, really elite defensive yeah. parts? I think it's going to make my life even easier, make me look even better. You know, those guys, the guards that we have, especially also now with the addition of Drew, D. White, a great defender, and those two guys, obviously, don't need to say anything. They're all elite defenders. So with that pressure, as, you know, guys will try to drive in, it's going to be even tougher to finish. And then on top of that, it's Al, myself, um, coming in to block. It's going to be a tough task. Uh, I know that for sure. So. We look forward to building that like defensive chemistry to to where we would get to like an elite elite level as a team. And how do you feel health wise? I know you said the foot it, it's it, it's feeling great. Like mm -hmm. it just is that not? Is, are you going to be thinking about it? Is oh, that something you're still going to monitor? Like what? How do you how do you approach zero it? zero? It has uh, bothered me like nothing at all since I've been here. So and of course I have to say like. The medical staff did an incredible job of like loading slowly. I wanted to go right away as soon as I got here. Boom, play pickup, play pickup the first day. Uh, but they held me back a little bit. And uh, again, I listened to them and, and it's been going perfect. Ready for training camp and ready to go. So how's the Boston experience going so far? Like people noticing you walking around town now? And I have not done much, I, yeah. I have to say. Yeah, I have been uh, like kind of just enjoying uh, like moving in, settling in and, and, and just working out. Um, but I can tell from the, like, just being on the elevator or in the lobby, mm -hmm. like, there's definitely a lot of uh, Celtics fans and, and a lot of excitement for, at least I've felt, yeah.